yes, I'm out here again at this beautiful retention pond. This has become one of my favorite places to fish lately. And this morning, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We are only gonna be fishing with this little 36 inch Shakespeare ugly stick dock runner. This is a $14 rod that I bought over at Walmart the other day doing a fishing challenge. You can click up in the top right corner. There'll be a link to the video up there that I did with my friend Tim and Leanne up in Athens, Tennessee. But today we're gonna get out here and try to slay these bass that we've been catching at this retention pond with this little tiny rod and see if we can bend it over double. All right, here we are guys. Uh, I got some, I uh, did change the factory line on this rod. I replaced it with some 10 pound braid. I just didn't trust the factory line on here and didn't want to be losing lures. I'm throwing out here the Z-Man, the Ned, uh, TRD, whatever they call it. All I know is that this rod right here will cast a long ways with this braid on it. If you're not careful, you will cast up in the trees. Oh my goodness. Did you just see that? Oh, and there's a deer running. Oh, there's another one, another one, another one, another one. One, two, three, four, five deer. Let me see if I can get that on my phone camera here. Wow. This is truly a first. Third time I've been here, never seen anything like that. There they go. go baby there we go first one of the day first one of the day on the little dock runner calm down little buddy calm down I know right you just got a hook through your head oh, look at that well, that's fun There we go. Got us another one. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a nice little one. You can't tell on this little dock runner. Golly, that thing's doing acrobatics. Whew. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Another, another little guy. Check that one out. That's pretty nice. Not scale worthy, but pretty nice. We're going to cast right up in this corner and see if we can get any action over there. Hopefully we won't get a bunch of bluegill bites. There she is. You can always tell the difference in a bass and a bluegill. Perfect landing. Come on now, quit whipping me. I mean, you've got a hook through your mouth and I'm holding you. What do you think you're gonna do? Huh? All right. Nice guys, number three bass there. So anyway guys, uh, right here below me, I know you probably can't see this, but there's a freaking beaver hole right here where they have been making spots out in this water. Let me show you real quick. They have been making holes right here in this water and all the way up through here. And there's a hole going back into the earth right there. Okay, so my dumb butt just tried to go across here and I just stepped in there, 50 degree weather out here. And I just stepped down and my foot went all the way through this hole right here, 
right into the water. So now my feet are soaking wet, but that's okay. We're gonna keep fishing. We got one, we got one. So one of the reasons I think it's important when you uh, throw your bait out there to let it drop is because if you just immediately start cranking, then you might take it right out of the front of that fish's face where I just let that thing drop. It dropped right in front of this fish right here and he ate it up. He is feisty. So there's number four. Most of these are all about the same size, about 12 inches long, you know, probably half to three quarters of a pound. Ah. Well, shoot. I had one there and didn't have the hook set good. I got a little bit overzealous, thought he picked it up and started running with it. And I set it a little bit too hard with this braid. See if we can get him again. There he is. I don't know if it's the same one, but it is one. There we go, guys. Uh, I'm going to look back at the number of videos, but I think that this is number five. All right, so I just spun around here and moved over to this other location. And I just want to say something here real quick. Um, all of the fishing spots that I go to, I love them and I respect them and I pick up all of the trash. Anything I bring, I take with me. But look at this, look at this right here. Every fishing spot I go to, it's like wrappers, beer cans. Uh, there's a bag right there. You might not be able to see it. Bottles, trash. There's trash down there in the pond. Look over here to the other side. Plastic right there plastic over there. When I walk up on a location and a bunch of trash has been sitting there fishing and throwing their beer cans there, leaving their worm cups, leaving their Walmart bag that they just bought their bait in right there with all their trash, they could have put all that trash in the Walmart bag and taken it with them, okay? I just don't get it. I mean, just respect the places that you go fishing and stop throwing your trash, take it with you, stop being so freaking lazy, gah. So I just switched over to this um, Yum Dinger right here. It's a five inch watermelon with red flake. Uh, it recommends to use a three, four or five offset hook. I am gonna keep my two on here as I don't wanna rig it. Let's see how it performs. We got about 30 more minutes left to fish here. I gotta uh, head back to the house, get all cleaned up. We're gonna be, uh, uh, we're gonna be celebrating my little girl and little boy's birthday today. We're gonna have the family birthday party and let's see if we can catch, we gotta catch at least one more fish before we leave here today. Gosh, it's getting pretty out here. There we go. There, we, oh. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. It's running right toward the bank. Oh, it made a V line there. It ran toward the bank and then it turned. Let's get this baby in here. Oh yeah. Oh no, it, it took my yum dinger. Oh, there it went, catch and release. All right guys, we're gonna switch it up, see if we can catch one more fish. We put this Z-Man crawl on here we rigged it uh, weedless just like we've been rigging everything else it is a little bit lighter than the yum dinger it might not sink as fast so Oh. 
oh, into another hole. Oh God. Mm -mm. Oh, ow. Dang. See that guys? Whew. Man, that might not be the best way to go. There, the pond gave us one more fish. We had to be patient. It took us over 30 minutes of fishing around this thing. But the Z-Man Crawl pulled one more fish. All right, all right. Check it out, guys, check it out. That's a Another nice little one. Looks like something's tried to get him right there. All right, goodbye my friend. We'll catch you another day. All right everybody, my time is up this morning. We caught about seven or eight bass. I'd have to go back to the video and look. I think it was seven. We asked the pond for one more fish. It took 30 minutes, but it gave us one more. Ask and you shall receive. So we had a great Sunday morning out here. Started out about 48 degrees. Sun's out now. Big guy up in the sky warming us up. But we had a blast. Got to head back to my daughter and son's birthday party. And I appreciate everybody for watching my videos over and over and supporting me if you like what you've seen make sure you go down there hit that like button join the family by subscribing hit the post notifications so you don't miss any more videos and i will see y'all in the next video